you already mentioned that I haven't made an inbox review. That's not completely correct. I made one, but it was so boring that I decided to not show you that. And um, sorry for that, but there are a lot of um, inbox reviews on the net, which are way, way better than mine. I'm not there. Uh, as a, inbox reviews are not my favorite. I have to say sorry for that. Let's start with the Tiger Talk. Let us start with the road wheels. Um, as you already know, that the the Tiger has very big and a lot of road wheels. This one. Um, there are several reasons for that. First of all, um, they want to get rid of the return rollers on the upper part because it's easier to build a tank or it's faster to build a tank without them. Some, part, some few parts less. Uh, you don't have to make them and you don't have to mount them so the produ production is a bit faster then um, the uh, the next reason was that it was shown at the T34 that tanks with bigger road wheels and very wide tracks are capable to uh, cross terrain or terrain which was not capable to cross for the Panzer 3, Panzer 2, Panzer 1 and the Panzer 4. So um, they looked at the Russians and copied the big road wheels with wider tracks. They also needed the wider tracks because of the weight of the tank. The tank is, was one of the heaviest tanks at that time. Um, it was produced, well it started, started the production 75 years ago. and. Uh, at that time it was the heaviest tank. So um, to reduce the ground pressure they need white tracks and a lot of road wheels. Next reason, there was more than one, um, was uh, the Germans uh, thought when the, the, the war will, produce, uh, will go on they, and uh, the Allies managed or build a gun which is powerful enough to penetrate a tiger and they have to up armor the tank and uh, they also have to up armor the gun and um, so the uh, the weight will uh, will rise and they overpowered the roll uh, the suspension and uh, the the running gear so that this is easier to upgrade the tank without changing the road wheels or the suspension system. That was another reason. And the last reason was bigger road wheels are, make, are better for uh, cross road and uh, for uh, all terrains. On the road it is not necessary to make big road wheels and uh, on uh, rough terrain bigger road wheels uh, are better for rough terrain, so the road wheels are not dive so much deep in dumps or in, in, in dumps or something else. It was shown that the Crusader tanks they also have big road wheels, the T34 also have big road wheels, and the Tiger 3 and the Tiger 4 have a lot of small road wheels. And it was a very rough ride for the crew because they bumped everywhere when they go cross country, and so. One more reason for bigger road wheels was the performance on rough terrain. You never heard about the the cross or the um, the capability of crossing rough terrain from an M4 because they have a lot of small road wheels. And they were not very comfortable. It changed a bit with the uh, um, with the other suspension. They they managed to make or well, they they changed the suspension later for the EZ8 for example. Um, it became a bit more comfy for the for the crew, but I think not so comfy like the uh, possible well, not so comfy like a Tiger or a Panther or a Crusader or T34 in rough terrain. So uh, that's the reason for the big road wheels. Uh, big road, road wheels not only have uh, advantages, they also have disadvantages. Uh, at the Tiger, they 
used a lot of them to reduce the ground pressure and they were overlapping. You all have seen that before, I'm pretty sure. And um, especially on the Eastern Front, they had the problem when the snow or melt and um, the ground becomes very sticky. The all the mud and everything else stick in the road wheels when they drive from one point to another. And uh, the they mostly stopped at the evening and prepare for the night. And in the morning when in the nights uh, the, uh, the, it becomes colder, the dirt started to freeze between the roadways and they often blocked them. So that was one of the big disadvantages. Also, the maintenance crew hated them because they were overlapping and there were three, three or four, four rows of road wheels. And I'm pretty sure most times the inner road wheels broke and you have to remove a lot of road wheels to get to the last one. It was in my military time. Never. Uh, the parts which were easy to mount and dismount never broke. There were always the parts which is which are hard to uh, to assemble. For example, at the idler wheel, well, the, the, the sprocket wheel, it was always the back sprocket which broke, never the front one. And to get to the back one, you have to remove everything. Oh, you have to remove the front part, the back part. Normally you can change or you will lose the tracks and you will dismount the tracks, change the front one and that's it. But mostly it was the back one that broke. So you have to remove the complete wheel and it is heavy, heavy as hell. When you try to move it from hand, you normally have a, a system to put it on the crane. Yeah, so that's it for today.